Deborah. Yeah. Last week, we talked about a few things. But you know, I myself would like to hear about some of those stories that you, you know, when people ask me to come on podcast, they always want me to talk about different stories that went down in the business, you know, and I, I, I so I started doing my own podcast so I could tell my own stories. But Deborah, you've had a very, very unique interest and exit to this business. You got to give me some of the things that went down. I remember me and you were talking one night and you were telling me about a story where I guess you was in a bar and somebody started kind of harassing you a little bit. Give me a little bit of that one. Oh, yeah. That was a long, long time ago. Okay. I remember we first started with the WPW, and I was still married to Steve Michael. And I remember back then, you know, everybody would, or most, you know, pretty much if we were in a small town, everyone would be at the same hotel. Yeah. And then we would just go to the bar and have a cup of drinks, and all the guys were talking. And I remember, where were we? We were somewhere in Michigan. Let me think here what town it was. It was Battle Creek. I think it was Grand, Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids. Okay. I think, I think, but I remember we were in there in the bar and they were all, I think that was when we were all in the uh, Four Horsemen, maybe. Okay. Or I, I can't remember if I even was working then. I, maybe I was just there hanging out. But okay. I remember. I left to go back up to my room. I was tired and just going to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Then I remember some fan said something or did something on my way out. And that all they did. Well, wait a minute. Did the the fan say something to you? Yeah, I don't even remember. Like, I remember I was just walking by going to my room. And then I remember it was um, Steve McMichael. And then it was Arn. And remember Paul when he was really young, like you know the giant. I mean, he was like yeah, really Paul White, yeah. Yeah, and then it was uh, Pee Wee. You remember the referee Pee Wee? Oh yeah, how could I forget him? Yeah. Well, uh-huh. I remember I walked. I was in the hallway, and then I was trying to go to my room, and then they stopped the guy, and he had like a lot to drink and stuff. He was. He, he probably was, yeah. He probably was plastered. Yeah, I think that's probably a good word to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I remember they were all just trying to make him apologize to me and this and that. And then he didn't. And he had another friend with him. The next thing I knew, there was this, it seemed like, who? Somebody, wait. It was Paul hit the guy. Wait a minute. Paul, now are you trying to get him to. Apologize to you, but you don't even remember what he did, right? No, I don't even remember. Like, I think he must have said something, or I don't know if he. It did. I mean, he, 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 he thought it was very disrespectful. He's, and, pl- he's plastered, and yeah. then they want him to. They want him to recant what he just said. In essence, apologize, but he doesn't. Then Paul hits him. Paul White punches him. Is that what happens? Yeah, he hits him. And I will never forget this because that guy fell. And when he did, he, he fell all the way down and pulled Paul's pants down. <laughs> Y'all and Paul do not have any underwear. underwear. <laughs> and it was, I mean. Oh, 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 wait up, wait up, wait up. I got I to quarterback some of these stories for the fans. I got to quarterback some of them. Yeah, I can't say it as good as you can say it, yeah. <laughs> now, back in those days, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, we used to wear sweatpants a lot with uh, fanny packs and stuff like that. So, you know, it was kind of easy access, you know, to get in and out of stuff. The hardest thing we had to put on back in those days was our sneakers. So you're saying after this melee... Paul hits this guy who has disrespected you, and the guy falls forward. And as he's falling forward, he he grabs on to Paul the giant, as we all know him as, grabs his sweatpants and pulls them down, and the, and and the giant doesn't have any underwear. Yeah, and you know when you, I guess the guy, <laughs> Paul, you know, it just kind of just slid down, and when he did. 
There, I mean, it was. Now he had the underwear. That means his, his whole package was right in the guy's face. I don't know. I didn't see anything because when that, I was just like, "Oh my goodness!" You know. And then it was. I think it was probably around 1996. So this was a long time ago. <laughs> I just remember I was just trying to like go go to my room and go to sleep when all this chaos breaks out. But I just still remember, you know how your memories are from that point. Like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like you. I can't remember a lot of things. I've been hit on the head with way more chairs than you have. But you were tired and you're trying to go to bed. 